Next time you browse through Cinema Times and tell yourself there's nothing great out, stop and consider documentaries. There's a heap of great stuff coming out this year and because browsing titles isn't always the best indicator, we've done the hard yards for you, revealing the hidden gems of 2015. I was underdeveloped, immature little dude that never got laid. Oh, poor little kid. We start with Kurt Cobain montage of Heck, which provides 135 minutes of home movies, audio recordings, journal entries, interviews, and concert clips. This raw insight into the Nirvana frontman story has been described by the Rolling Stone as the most intimate rock doc ever. Director Brett Morgan was granted unrestricted access to everything, with Cobain's daughter Frances being on board as co-producer. Morgan is an Academy Award nominated director for On the Ropes and winner of countless film festival awards. The title of this doc was taken from a late 80s mixtape Cobain put together and is sure to deliver audiences an understanding and appreciation of not only Cobain and Nirvana, but all rock music. Mrs. Lohman, the original, said, you're not pretty and you'll never be pretty, but it doesn't matter. You have something much better. You have style. Iris is a story about creativity and a 93-year-old woman with an inspiring free spirit. A huge influence on the New York fashion scene for decades, Iris Apfel's enthusiasm for fashion doesn't come from a judgmental place. She realizes if people are happy with their appearance, then that's all that matters. Humble despite her glamorous surroundings, this woman's background is brought to life by legendary documentarian, the late Albert Maisels. You know why I think you did this film? Why? Because he's very handsome, and I think you, you really had a crush on him. Everybody does. I know. He's like a magnet. My God. Heartwarmingly eccentric, Iris is currently showing in select cinemas. I knew that what I had done is wrong. You know, I wasn't the partier. I wasn't the bad girl. I was a liar. I just didn't think I was going to get caught. I mean, it destroyed my life, to be honest with you. Why do people who consider themselves honest also admit to lying? This conundrum is beautifully explored in the documentary Dishonesty, The Truth About Lies. When we started looking at dishonesty, my colleagues and I thought this was just another example of human irrationality. But all of a sudden, the world was telling us this is actually a more important topic to study. Celebrated behavioral economist and best-selling author Dan Ariely uses experiments and personal stories to illustrate the complex impact dishonesty has on our lives. The curiosity of the human mind is what inspires many TED Talks, and this doco addresses the audience in a similar fashion. So basically, if you love a good TED Talk, you should be adding this one to your list. Sugar is now found in 80% of the foods we eat, but with the constant confusion over its effects on our health, and with this little person on the way, I feel like I need some definitive answers. When you see this flick, I can guarantee you're going to think differently about what you put into your body and what you perceive as healthy. That sugar film provides a much needed look into the rows of supposed healthy foods lining the grocery stores. Damon Gemmo, director and writer, embarks on a unique experiment to document the effects of a high sugar diet, eating only foods we perceive as healthy. Of course, everyone says sugar is bad and blah blah blah, but I feel like this film will provide the right info for us to make the right decisions in the supermarket. Due for release on the 17th of July, Jamie Oliver has labelled a definite must-see. And all I can say is that the companies on the wrong end of the scale are going to be P-I-S-E-D. That's a reference to the sweetest thing. Oh, the irony. Sugar's not evil, but life is so much better when you get rid of it. I began hearing voices and screams and crying. I would hear all the sounds of hell. Imagine this, you wake up, but you're unable to move. You can open your eyes, but you have no control over your body. Sleep paralysis is something experienced by millions of people across the world, and yes, it's a very real thing. The Nightmare explores this phenomenon through the eyes of eight people as a documentary horror film. I think number one, it's appropriately titled. An absolute worst nightmare would be when one crosses into reality. And number two, the addition of haunting visuals, eerie voices, and music only adds to the sense of fear and realism. Director Rodney Asher is also responsible for Room 237, which delved into themes explored in The Shining, so you know you're in the hands of a terror god. Creeping into theatres from June 5th, this one piqued my interest via the questions it poses to the audience. And it got me thinking, are the images of men just a figment of our imagination, or created from the movies that we watch? After watching this, I'm sure I hope not. This story is about a simple toy and how its unique properties ushered in a new era of creativity. For a 
whole generation. Stepping into the amazing real life world of the global phenomenon that has captivated fans of all ages, expect to discover how these bricks took on a much bigger significance than previously imagined. Academy Award winner Daniel Junge and Academy Award nominated Keith Davidson are behind this brickumentary where we can witness a Lego brick the size of our heads from July 31st. They believe there's nothing I can't build out of it. The name Carol Spinney may not mean a lot to you, but I'm sure Big Bird does. I mean, I hate to tell you this, it's kind of like saying Santa isn't real, but he's the guy beneath the suit. My name is Carol Spinney. I Am Big Bird, The Carol Spinney Story contains extraordinary footage behind the scenes with one of Sesame Street's most beloved characters and earliest collaborations with Jim Henson. Oh, and he's also Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, can't leave that one out. You're crummy. Oh, come on now, Oscar. Evolving from bully child to childhood icon, Spinney has enriched the lives of many for 45 years, and at the age of 80 is the last of the original Sesame Puppeteers. Writer and co-director Dave LaMartina began production in 2009 and thought it a cool idea to capture Spinney's retirement, which as it ends up isn't going to happen anytime soon. Directors Dave and Chad Walker have so much fun with docos picking subjects they're interested in that are wildly different. Their shared love of Sesame Street is the inspiration behind I Am Big Bird, and we're sure to see that come through when it's released on the 6th of May. I hope you've added at least one of these upcoming documentaries to your list and there's plenty more where that came from. It's going to become an addiction that's healthy, like sugar.